Oh, I had a prison bag packed for, for three weeks. You know, I've been living out of a bag for a long time. I didn't quite know what to put in it, but, you know, an extra pair of socks. I just what do you pack if you think you're going to go terrible. to jail? They had been preparing for a lengthy sentence. Now, in their first television interview since their trial, John Letts and Sally Lane told me of their relief at not needing that prison bag. I think I'm still in shock a little bit. I think there's been, it's been such a long period of being stressed by it that it's going to take a while to feel that relief. It's been a three and a half year wait for it to get to the Old Bailey. And the worst part of that is for that three and a half years, we haven't been able to talk about Jack's situation at all because of the contempt of court rules. And it was their son Jack's situation, he ran away to Syria after converting to Islam, that led to their trial. On Friday, they left the Old Bailey with a suspended sentence after a jury returned a mixed verdict. They were found guilty under the Terrorism Act of one charge of sending Jack £223, but found not guilty of a second similar charge. The jury heard what we said and they said, yes, he was in danger. He wanted to leave ISIS, that was legitimate. He, and, it, and we f believed we had to rescue him because his life was in imminent danger. The couple have always maintained that Jack was trying to escape ISIS and that there's no evidence of what he actually did whilst with the extremists. But over the weekend, a number of broadcasters have aired interviews with their son from the prison where Jack is being held by Kurdish authorities, in which he states he was a fighter for the group. Clips have previously been used on Channel 4 News. What about the comments that Jack made in those interviews, you know, saying that he was an enemy of Britain, that he wanted to carry out a suicide mission for ISIS? How do you account for that? I think those are the things that need to be aired in a proper trial because the things that Jack has said to us on those, those issues, there's huge discrepancies between what he said to us and what he said in those interviews. And, um, and so and, uh, until those issues are, are put to a jury um, or to, in questioning uh, by, by the police when he returns, we'll never know the truth. So you still, you don't accept what he's saying about being a member of ISIS, about fighting for them? About... No. Why would he say those things if they weren't true? I believe that those interviews were obtained under duress. For two and a half years, he's not had legal representation, can't speak to his mother. I mean, he's been mistreated. And then a British journalist can walk in the door, uh, just like that, and stick a camera in front of his face. Mr. Letts and Ms. Lane were given a suspended sentence after the judge described them as thoroughly decent parents. But they're aware that others haven't been so lucky. Salam Wakil was recently given two years for sending money to his sister to escape Raqqa, where she'd married an ISIS fighter. You're both middle class, you're very well spoken, you're white. You didn't go to jail, but there have been other similar cases where Muslim families have gone to jail. What do you say to that? What's unfair is the fact that so many people have been charged with incredibly minor things. It just shows how incredibly draconian the terrorism law is, this, this part, Section 17. So for other cases similar to ours, where family members have sent money for their loved ones to escape Syria, um, now or perhaps those cases can be, be looked at because it's slimmer circumstances. Do you have any regrets? Would you do it again? Of course. Of course, immediately. Yeah. You never give up on your child. Well, I'm not going to. Other people might have done more easily, except just because the newspaper says they're naughty, or, or, or more than naughty, that, that, that they're horrible. You're just going to say, oh, well, that must be true. I'm going to give up on my child. No, you don't. 